Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce verbs that take dative objects. So far in our study of German, we have learned that direct objects are marked with the accusative case. In this sentence, for example, der Mann sieht den Baum, the man sees the tree, den Baum is the direct object of the verb sieht and is therefore in the accusative case. Not all German verbs, however, take an accusative object. A few of them will instead take a dative object. I have listed some of the more frequent verbs that take a dative object here. Antworten, to answer. Befehlen, to order, command. Danken, to thank. Dienen, to serve. Erlauben, to permit, allow. Fehlen, to be missing. Folgen, to follow. Gehören, to belong to. Glauben, to believe, helfen, to help, passen, to fit, raten, to advise, schmecken, to taste good to someone, vertrauen, to trust, rely on, and verzeihen, to forgive. Please note that this list is not complete. So how do you know when a German verb takes a dative object? Although it is not applicable in all situations, a good rule to remember is whether you can express the main idea of the verb as an act of giving. This, you will recall, is the primary purpose of the dative case, which basically signals the indirect object, or to whom, something is given. So the sentence, ich helfe dir, I help you, could possibly be translated as, I give help to you. Another example would be, ich danke dir, I thank you which could also be translated as, I give thanks to you. Another good rule to remember is whether the preposition to can be used in translating the main idea of the verb into English. The sentence, das Hemd gehört mir, the shirt belongs to me, would be an example of this rule. Sometimes you may have to stretch the translation of the sentence a bit so that it can fit the rules. For example, the sentence, das Hemd gefällt mir, the shirt pleases me, or I like the shirt, could also be more loosely translated as the shirt is pleasing to me. In this way, you can get a preposition to in the translation, which helps you to identify the verb as taking a dative object. Other rules are less ambiguous. For example, verbs of motion with an inseparable ent or nach prefix will always take a dative object. For example, er entkommt dem Tod nur knapp. He barely escapes death. Here the verb of motion is kommen, meaning to come, which has the prefix ent attached to it. The prefix changes the meaning of the verb, although the sense of moving away from a threat is still retained. Some verbs with the separable by or zu prefix also take a dative object. For example, ich stehe dir bei, I support you, or I stand by you. Otherwise, the only really sure way to recognize German verbs that take a dative object, of which there are about 50, is to memorize them. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.